You know, we love templates. They are affordable and a reusable tool. And I love the detail on these templates, which are made by Crafters Workshop. Crafters Workshop is out of New York, and it's owned by Jamie and Ted Act. And uh, Jamie and I had dinner at the CHA Summer Show. Oh, how fun. Hi, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> we love all the different techniques you can use on these. Yes, and the intricacy of these. Well, you know, you'll just have to see them. Come play with us. So these are the templates, and these are the six by six size, exactly. right? Exactly, six by six, and then you'll also see the same designs in 12 by 12. So birds of a feather, right here, mm -hmm. and we've got the leaves. I love the trees. The trees, <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the uh, butterflies, mm -hmm. and also that daisy doodad. Daisy doodad, <laughs> it's fun to say. It is. So let's see what we can do with them. And here is the first one. And in this template, you can see that the artwork is evacuated inside. Mm -hmm. Right, it's kind of an enclosed image, right. whereas something like the Daisy Doodad, you kind of have open area around it, so you can do different things with that. Right. Get more now, color on there. you're going to demonstrate this. That's right. So I've got, this is from the pearlescent cardstock pack, which is one of my favorites, as Paulette knows. <laughs> and, and as you know. <laughs> so this is the maroon uh, fluid chalk ink. Now one of the things, although this is perfectly and beautifully designed for you, by the way, Jamie does all the artwork on these templates, so that's yes. nice to know. You don't have to use them this way. Jamie says that's just fine. Mm -hmm. So you can decide if you want to rearrange them. Or right, like on the card, she kind of rearranged the, the cages and didn't right. use all of them. Right, so that's so. just nice to know. Mm -hmm. So I'm taking my ink pad. This is the stylus handle and the blender tips. So this is kind of sponge on sponge here, getting that ink on there. <laughs> and I'm just going to hold my template steady and you'll want to tape it down with stencil tape. Or you can have me right next to you and I'll <laughs> be glad to supply you have that. a lovely assistant yes. that's also... <laughs> Great. The stylus is nice because it gives you some control. Yes, and it does. And you can actually put different colors beside each other and blend them together really nicely. Okay, so if we lift this up, you can see that that's perfect. Cute there. little birdies. Mm -hmm. So going back again, this is what you can do. Mm -hmm. Now this is a template that is, as we said, the design is evacuated on the inside. Mm -hmm. But those trees was mm -hmm. a little different in that. Do you want to grab the template? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so here is where the uh, background the negative has been, spaces yeah, all remote. around it. Mm -hmm. so. so with that, you can do the same blending technique mm -hmm. using that stylus and the pads, but this is a look you'll get. Right. Or you can also use a makeup sponge, which I find oh, is nice for okay. the larger areas, and it gives you a really smooth blending. So that can be um, a triangle like this, mm -hmm. um, and or just, a circle one. Whatever. Yeah, just fold it so that you've got a, uh, a smooth area. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what I think is neat too is that this is kind of a wintry um, blues and purples. Right. It could easily be autumn mm -hmm. with oranges and browns. That would be pretty. It could be spring with yellows and, and greens. And she's actually added those little flower jewel dazzles. Yeah, very pretty. Just to add some crystalline some look. Bling. Yeah, some <laughs> bling. Now, there is a process that we're showing in the September Paper Wishes, but I had to show you now, and it should not work. It should not work. It shouldn't work. It shouldn't work. According to modern science. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we are. And this is our linen paper. So yes, fabulous and shiny. Look at this. And smooth. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, it's like glossy. My niece is here in the audience, so Heidi should be saying, ooh. ooh. <laughs> Good, girl. Good girl, Heidi, okay. And um, what was done was using the Crafters Workshop template, the snowflakes, and um, the chalk inks, mm -hmm. and just dabbing them, right? Right. Or using the stylus and dabbing them, mm -hmm. and then rotating it. But the chalk inks, um, you know, what I know is that with slick surfaces, we always talk about using stays on. Mm -hmm. But the chalk inks from um, Clear Snap, kind of looks, yeah, yeah clear is um, a blend of pigment and a dye. dye. So it works, it doesn't rub off. It's permanent. So since I can't show you this template yet because it's not <laughs> ready yet, we can show you the capricious 
So And this one you do want to let it like dry this. a little bit between colors. Just till you know you touch it and it doesn't come off on your finger. Okay. So um, but it's really amazing that the shiny surface actually carries that ink yes. and it stays. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's, we're very happy. And it's so <laughs> can you tell? cool looking because you can actually see the silver reflecting oh, through the color. It's translucent. Exactly. Oh, so it's yeah. not opaque. And I do want to mention that these um, inks also work on glossy cardstock with they stamps. Do. They work perfectly. You just have to let them dry a little longer. And you, I love but they come out so sharply. That's great. And I love doing the various colors. So you're going to yes. show this just to prove that this can happen, right? Okay. Yes. What do you need from me? Um, maybe this Let's stencil. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'll open this up. And I've got my stylus handle here. We're going to use. Um, Deep Lagoon this time. Okay. So I have a bunch of different sponges. I keep one for each color just so I can reuse them <laughs> and don't have to mix my colors. It makes it really easy. Okay. So I've got my Deep Lagoon and Paula is holding my stencil I steady. I am. Yeah, just for you. <laughs> and really tough. More <laughs> really tough to do, huh? The more you dab on to the ink pad, the more ink you're going to get. And so you could also, if you want it even darker, you can do separate layers of ink and let them dry oh. in between if you want a really Should I lift that dark. Up? I'm just... You're just going to keep going, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you in action. <laughs> I get lost sometimes. So that one's a little bit lighter than what we've seen. Mm -hmm. But with different layers and different amounts of ink, you can get many different colors from one ink pad. Right, so. which I think is just great. Yes. So again, to go back to this, you can see that the uh, one of the uh, you, you know you can shift the template and use mm -hmm. different areas of it. Or what we did on the snowflake one is we actually rotated the template right. and you know then and put it down again. And it's fun to see like on the snowflakes. That we're not where, supposed to be showing. Yeah, where they're overlapping, they kind of have a darker color. Oh, kind so, of like vellum. Vellum yeah, does that. Different, yeah, different colors mixed together to make more colors. Yes, so. I am absolutely in love with this technique. I yeah, think it's and just this, great. these light areas also are done lighter, so, okay, so it's can, the different shades. Okay. Now there is another technique, I'm sure there are others, but, well actually two more. Uh -huh. um, when I was in a Crafters Workshop booth, I saw the Zentangles, and we've done a webisode on that, but I just wanted to show this one. Mm -hmm. um, this is using, um, actually, our heart <laughs> template. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie. Um, mm -hmm. But just that the templates uh, can be used that way. And right, that's Zentangle, just, it's a wonderful. Great look. And these are colored in with smooch inks, so that's one of my favorite cards. <laughs> yes. Okay, we have another technique, and this is using the uh, smooch spritz. Smooch spritz and Daisy Doodad. Yes. Okay, so you need a craft sheet. Yes. Here I am. Thank you. You're welcome. So I have a blank card here, and she's actually just inked right straight on the card. Okay. Which is rare for us, but <laughs> it's kind of fun. This is Lime Pastel, a wonderful green color. I'm just going to do a small section. Good, because I was going to say, but the template isn't on there. <laughs> and? and? So you're doing that first, just to put some color just down. Just to put some color down. I'm just going to start in the corner and work my way out. Now, if you had started with a piece of colored cardstock, that color could affect the color of the inks. True. Yeah, so this way with using white, you're going to be able to control that color perhaps a little bit better. Right. Okay. Okay. So now um, I'm going to put my template. Am I going to take it down? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs> Are you going to go with the... Uh, Green, or you're going to a different going color? Going to ocean. Going to the ocean. You're going to the ocean? <laughs> yes. Okay. Which is a really pretty blue. It reminds me of cerulean blue in the Crayola box, which is my favorite <laughs> blue. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure other people know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to dab it in here. That was really cute. <laughs> Oh, okay, so you're blending onto the over the green, actually. Over the green, that's right. And so oh. the parts that are underneath the template will stay green, and the parts that I'm inking will turn blue or teal, since I'm layering the colors. <laughs> then you can go off 
the edge of it? Is that what Lynette yes, did? Yes, she's okay. kind of, well, I don't have my green under there, but okay. look at that. Oh, pretty. So you can do that feathering. Yeah, just Very nice. really easy with this stylus to get that really cool uh -huh. effect. And then, there we go. Okay. So I didn't ink all around here, but right. you can get the idea. Pretend. And then, and what, then did you, what did she do? And then she spritzed the top with Majestic Smooch Spritz. And here it is. It's a really deep, pretty purpley color. Ooh. And you always, always have to shake. You do. Shake you do. first before you spray. And? And you always want to have a paper <laughs> towel handy because it may be messy. It may Actually, be messy. Actually, I will guarantee you it, it will be messy. It will be messy. OK. OK, thank you. So I just like to dry off the spritzer ah. before, just in case any ink is on there. All right. And you hold it. Hold it about you know, six inches off. Mm -hmm. Oh. And then look where. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the reason why we're laughing <laughs> is because you do want to make sure that you know where it's going to spray, Anne. And then spray into your, no, just kidding. Here is the nozzle. I learned from my mistakes. Let's try that again. OK. So okay. that was a little close. <laughs> OK, so you want to be a little bit further away, right? Yes. Okay. But basically... Go ahead and squirt it again. Oh, okay. Lightly. I will Knowing try not to squirt is. myself. <laughs> there oh, you there go. There we go. So... <laughs> now, the other thing spritzing you can do... It does. Practice. One of the things about spritzing is that you're not going to be able to control, which mm -hmm. drives a few of us crazy. <laughs> but what's also nice is that you can be open to happy accidents. Yes. The nice thing about this is that if you chose to, you could go back and ink on top of it. Right. So that would work really well. Let me bring in Lene's card. Or if you're card. me, I would start over. Would you but. start over? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let me clean up the purple we have. Excuse us. And uh, the nice thing, too, the craft sheet, you can just wipe it mm -hmm. off. So I'm going to slip that over. Okay. And let's look at Lene's card. So she's done that process mm -hmm. with the green and then the ocean. And she's held it at the appropriate length. She has and done pointed that. pointed it in the appropriate direction. A little harder to do on camera. Yes. And then she's done some stamping right mm -hmm. at the top. And, and then, added those jewel dazzles. Did yes. you mention that? I did not do that. <laughs> Silly me. The jewel dazzles, of Very course. Very jewelly. Now, on the inside, there was another technique. Yes. And this one is pretty cool. It looks like a mixture of the green and the blue, which it is. And let me show you how she did that. You're going to show that? Yes. Is it doesn't this safe involve for me? spring, so <laughs> okay. don't worry. <laughs> So basically, after she had used this template, it was covered with that ocean blue ink. And your first thought would be, oh, I have to clean it off. But don't. Don't. Because you can use that ink. It hasn't dried yet. And I've got another, the same uh, lime pastel sponge that I've used. And she oh, actually kind of that's how she got brushed the, on it. the ink from the template Onto the, card. onto the card. So she's got the blue from the template and the ink, the green that's still on the the sponge. The sponge right. The pad. So Very obviously clever. she would have more ink on hers than I do mine. Mm -hmm. But you can see yes, how so she gets the dark to the light. So there. it's bringing those colors on. And in hers, <clears throat> yes, you're right. She had a bit more green. A bit on more hers, green, but, right? But that's nice to do just the pieces. So mm -hmm. that's another way to use the template. I think one of my favorite effects is how she feathered out that edge mm -hmm. on the edge of the template, which is and really that's cool. Really, what you did on the front is mm -hmm. just a little more saturated. Right. So we can do. Um, well, we can also do chalks. We yeah, didn't even talk about that. Yeah, we didn't even that. talk about chalks, <laughs> but we're having so much fun with the ink. <laughs> we are. And you can do zentangle, and you can do. The, them mm -hmm. on the uh, silver linen. In, in this case, you sprayed all over it, but you can also spray on top of the template, which is the original kind of oh, purpose. OK, right. So mm -hmm. lots of things, lots of creativity going on. Can't wait to get started on more.